I'm going to make this video for you guys that are growing in DWC or any other hydro. Um, so people don't, I mean, I'm a pretty versatile grower. I grow in soil, auto systems. Um, fuck, I could even invent systems for whatever purpose that I need. So the, this video I'm going to make is how does ORP apply to RDWC? See, back like a while back, dude, none of this shit was like, we didn't have a lot of this stuff at our fingertips. This equipment was expensive. Now you can get an ORP controller and pH and everything all in one for fucking 70 bucks off of Amazon. It's retarded. So anyway, ORP is your oxygen reduction potential. So you basically have like um, good electrons and bad electrons in your water that are like fighting against each other. So I'm not a scientist. I don't know the complete science behind it, but I do know what the numbers mean. So um, the higher the ORP, the better your water quality is as far as like does it have the potential to reduce oxygen and organic bad bacteria shit like that will reduce the oxygen potential which will give you a negative ion negative ions when they go down is bad so anytime you're in an rdwc system man if your ph is dropping and your orp is dropping down below 300 you're that's bad you got something in your tank so you need to correct it, whether you put beneficials in, beneficial bacteria, or um, any of that, or hypochlorous acid. See, we used to have to buy UC roots, and I used to argue with these guys on the forums because they were like, oh no, pool shock, make UC roots for fucking a dollar a bag. I was like, no, dude, it is not the same. Hypochlorous acid is completely different. It's basically like, it's like, imagine like a saltwater swimming pool. They take salt, they ionize it and creates chlorine. It's, it's cleaner chlorine. It's not as toxic to humans or plants. Chlorine is completely different. It's fucking bleach. It's more toxic to your plants. So if you put too much chlorine in your DWC or your flood and drain or whatever system you're using, you could kill, you know, you'll kill them or you'll stun them really bad. So hypochlorous acid to me was always, we just called it past, pasteurized chlorine. UC roots was d different. UC roots also doesn't really... You can't use like a regular chlorine test strip. I argue with these guys on the forums for years. They're like, nope, you can make UC roots for nothing, man. You can make a whole gallon, 10 gallon solution and you'll, you just can just be making, no, 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 no. Doesn't work that way. So anyway, oxygen reduction potential is extremely important when you're running, especially if you're running like a sterile system, because like if you measure tap water, tap, tap water is going to be in your 600s and up. And they say that anything above 600 is toxic to plants. Like, it really hinders their growth. So, I basically, I make it with the saltwater generator. I got it off of Amazon, dude. It's super cheap. And you just pH the water to 4.5. You add the salt, teaspoon of salt, and then you run the generator and it creates hypochlorous acid. And I put that in the system. It's not as toxic to the plants and it works. So, I use a UV sterilizer to sterilize my source water first. So I, that's like another step. So basically when you're running RDWC or any other hydro, you want to like take all these extra steps. So trust me on this, man. An orp, orp meter is like, the, is the only way to keep, keep like an eye on your water. So if it drops below 300, you've definitely got some problems that you need to get addressed because your oxygen reduction potential has negative ions. So that's pretty much it on this video, man. I want to show you guys. So these plants have been in for a few days. I don't run no water chiller. I could make a whole video on water chillers and art in, in hydro, dude. Like people say, oh, you gotta have your water cooled. No, man, diatoms can survive in water that's like 59, 58 degrees. I don't give a fuck how cold you are. Oh, you got light leaks, so you got no. Diatoms is like people been battling them shits in fish aquariums forever. They're they can grow in cold water. They can grow in the complete darkness. It's like some prehistoric fucked up funk, uh, funk, man. It gets on your roots and it like suffocates them. So I run sterile system when I do no water chiller. Um, so yeah, you don't, water chiller is a pain in the ass, dude. You get all that condensation, you're fucking burning electricity, you're adding heat to the building. It's just too much. You don't really need a water chiller for RDWC. And I found, figured out ways to get around it. So anyway, I got roots coming out, you can see. Yeah, these things are fucking blasting. Uh-oh. 
That sucks. I just dropped two balls in there. And that's going to get sucked into the pump. All right, so anyway, I got to get them out. So anyway, um, so yeah, man, that's just what I wanted to make this video about. And I've been saying I was going to do it for a while now. So you guys that run hydro, I could run any type of hydro. It doesn't matter. But DWC is probably one of my favorites, man, because you can, like, correct problems on the fly. Like, you can drop the pH to the... You can keep your pH in the correct zone. So as you can see, um, it's at 5.9. So I always like to swing the pH. So I, I try to get it down to 5.8 and let it swing through up to 6.1. So every nutrient can be available at whatever pH range you're in. So like nitrogen is more available between like 5.4 and 6.2. And then phosphorus is more available from like 5.8 or 5.9 so i like to try to swing the ph from down up a little bit so that's not like it's not the end of the world <laughs> so anyway um yeah so i wanted to make this video about that and if you guys don't use an orb controller man try it they're running hydro and it's really just a basic guideline to you know to keep an eye on your system and um to let you know, hey, everything's good in there. You know what I'm saying? Because if you, if you got like really low ORC and your pH is dropping, yeah, you got a problem. You need to correct it. So anyway, um, yeah, that's what this video is about. Thanks for watching.